devised inspection procedures aimed at tackling potholes quickly in the short term, and the program of substantial borrowing and investment to deal with its backward maintenance. Will the Cabinet member arrange for this to be examined by officers with a view to Cabinet following a similar scheme to bring Wirral's roads to a higher standard? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'm grateful for Council Hill for his questions since it will allow me to address some misconceptions about the condition of Will's Road Network. Councillor Gilchrist asked about Surrey. Let me put the example into context. Surrey's A roads are measured as 7% red. That is, 7% of their A road network requires maintenance intervention now to prevent them falling apart. Similarly, similarly, 10% of their B and C roads are red and 21% of their unclassified roads too. Their proposed £100 million investment over five years to, to be spent on 300 miles of their worst roads only, presumed, presumably unclassified, would only address 60% of that red unclassified network length, still leaving them at 8% red, and in the meantime, some of their ambers, those roads that would that will become red without preventative maintenance will have gone red by then. Liverpool too have suggested investing 200 million over a number of years to address their under-maintained A roads. The investment involving the business case isn't publicly available yet, so I cannot comment on it, but they are starting from a position of 12% of their A roads being red. Will Council has been investing continuously in road maintenance, and not only in the, in the condition of the A road network, significantly better than those authorities, it is still improving. Will's A roads are currently at only 1% red and improving from 2% in 2011 and 12. For our B and C roads, Will scores only 2% red, and for the unclassified roads, 5%. With regard to inspection arrangements, our policies and procedures ensure that the network is inspected at a reasonable frequency depending on the road type and its use and necessary safety repairs are carried out promptly and efficiently. This council has a strong repudiation rate against claims for slips and trips because of this. We are not complacent and I shall ask officers to continue to keep abreast of approaches taken by other authorities and to continue to seek improvements to our maintenance strategies to reach the reliance on revenue funding for all reactive repairs and payments of insurance claims. However, it is really a case of our policy of prudent investment in high wage maintenance, which means that we are not forced to large scale prudential borrowing. Mr. Mayor, I don't know whether Council Wilkes would like the uh, written, written copy of this response or the rest of the Council.